Quickly, this is a paid segment from skinswap.com. Log into skinswap today to be able to easily trade, buy, and most importantly for us, sell skins. Skinswap even supports PayPal, so it's quite accessible for everyone. Don't forget to use my affiliate code, Omighty, to help me out. And also claim your free item at the top right of the website screen too. What's going on guys, I'm Mighty back again with the Weekly Rust Skins videos. And today we have a pretty interesting looking uh, store. This is what the top sellers is looking like for this week. So we do have the Frontier Decor Pack, which came out this wipe, um, Force Wipe. Uh, as the new Rust DLC, that is at number one, and then Neon Vibes Garage Store at number two, and the Punk Jack Large Wood Box at number three. Um, so that is what the top sellers is looking like in that order. Um, we'll just do a quick one this week because it is, it's just weapons and deployables, which is pretty weird. Um, so we'll just go uh, top left to bottom right, 12 skins this week as well. So we've got a continuation of the Abyss set with the Abyss sleeping bags. It's going for $3.95, which is above standard store price for deployables, but it is a glowing deployable, and this is standard store price for glowing deployables typically. Um, the Abyss stuff, I'm pretty sure this is the first Abyss deployable, unless we've had a sheet metal door, I actually think we might have, um, and we've had a garage door as well, so probably the third um, Abyss deployable, in fact. Um, overall, can't really remember exactly how the Abyss stuff has been performing, but um, we do get a lot of sleeping bags for free off of the Twitch drops, and also um, some of them do glow uh, usually as well. This is a pretty cool looking set, the Abyss set in general, um, and I do think that the uh, Abyss sleeping bag is also quite a unique, cool looking sleeping bag. Um, but these days we do have quite a lot of glowing sleeping bags. Um, uh, in terms of in the base, it is pay to win in my opinion. Of course, having as much glowing deployables as you can in the base um, is beneficial, whereas having this outside, if you're going to try and grub and you're a rat player, um, is less ideal because, of course, uh, people are going to be able to see you respawning on your bag a lot easier in the night. But overall, nice looking skin, $3.95. I honestly do think you could get this Abyss sleeping bag for cheaper on the community market, um, and that is mainly just because the... Um, that was bad timing, sorry. The Rust... Uh, skin economy at the moment is down bad. It is starting to recover a little bit at the moment and of course it's going to go up um, during Christmas and uh, a little bit after that but overall not going to recommend investing in the Abyss sleeping bag off of the rest of them store. I just don't really think there's going to be that much demand at the moment for the uh, Abyss sleeping bag and that's actually the same with a lot of rust skins these days so you really do have to have a Real standout looking um, rust skin in order for it to go up in value, so it does make it a lot harder to invest in skins off of the rust item store at the moment. But in saying that, it is a good opportunity for you to be listening to these kind of videos um, and hearing what would be good to buy off of the community market with buy orders so that you can make money um, come Christmas time when the skins do go up in value. So, um, still a good time to listen to these Rust Item Store videos. So maybe go over to the Bamboo Blaster. This is a double barrel skin going for $3.05, which is the standard store price for weapons and deployables. And this one I don't think is going to have any demand um, once it leaves the Rust Item Store and goes to the community market. I actually do think it is a cool uh, double barrel skin. But in saying that, a lot of double barrel skins are actually sick. Um, and... It does appear, yeah, so it, I'm pretty sure you can't actually skin the front sides of the double barrel, which I really hope Face Punch does eventually fix, because honestly, I do think it definitely lets some skins down. Um, overall, though, I don't think it's going to really make you any money with the Bamboo Blaster, um, buying that one off of the rest of them store, so I'm not going to recommend investing in it. In saying that, though, it is a DB that can blend in quite easily with your environment, so I mean, it could be okay but either way i don't think you're gonna have that much demand if you roam with the db then you're probably gonna hide in a bush anyway or you're sitting um right behind someone's door so um doesn't really need to be green right moving over to the bullseye ar um straight up i'm just gonna say i'm not gonna recommend investing in this overall though let's have a quick look at the gun i haven't actually looked at it the ads looks like it's pretty cool uh, we've got the green iron sight um but it is a bright green iron sight by the looks of it so it's going to, oh no, not really actually, it's going to probably kind of blend in with the grass. Um, I don't know, I'd have to see this one in game really, but I mean overall, either way, I don't think it's going to have any demand. Like, it's not really that standout of an AK skin. It's cool, um, but it's not crazy. I feel like the 1337 definitely doesn't really match the aesthetic of this gun, um, but is what it is, that's just my opinion. Um, probably should have had some of these little five... Uh, 
uh, things on the other side, on like the play side of the AK, just so you can see them instead of 1337 in my opinion, but is what it is. Bullseye AR, not going to recommend investing in it. Um, $3.05, same sort of price for weapons and uh, yeah, in general, but I don't think it's going to make you any money. I don't think it's going to have any demand once it leaves the rest of them store and goes to the community market. Moving over to the Chameleon Balti, going for $3.95. So Baltis don't really perform that well usually, um, but the Chameleon set has had a decent bit of demand. And of course, once it's complete, the demand's only really going to go up um, in saying that the quantity of the Chameleon weapons is pretty high. Um, so it is going to be more of a long-term investment, but overall, I think all of the Chameleon skins are pretty safe investments in my opinion as long-term investments. And of course, this Chameleon Balti also has the holographic defect, which the um, other well, five weapons do as well. So overall, even though it's $3.85, I still will recommend investing the Chameleon Balti off of the rest of them store. Um, you could try and get it off of the Chameleon Mark with a buy order, but Overall, I really think that all of these chameleon weapons are going to make you money in the future. Um, especially if we have like a spike or anything like that during Christmas time of Rust players. Just because like these skins are just absolutely sick and uh, they're very unique in terms of weapon skins. We don't have any other holographic effects like this. Um, and it's the whole body of the weapon as well. So quite a uh, good little set we have there in my opinion so I will recommend investing in the chameleon bolt rifle off of the rest of them store as a long term investment you could also potentially try and get it for a bit cheaper off the community market moving over to the fossil mp5 going for three dollars and five cents that is the essential price for weapons as well and we do have a fossilized um, weird mp5 skin so the only reason that I really I don't love this skin and it's mainly because you can see on the front handguard we have like the upper jaw of something. But then for some reason on the stock you've also got the upper and lower jaw. Like you've got the teeth happening there as well. Doesn't really make much sense. I feel like there's not really too much flow to the skin itself. Iron sights are fugly as in my opinion. Um, they probably still could have coloured the front the front sight on the MP5. I actually do like this skin. I'm, I'm you know, roasting it pretty hard here. But I do like the skin overall. I just don't think it's going to have any demand once it leaves the rest of the store and goes to the community market. I think it's a unique idea, but um, in the future, Skin Creator, if you're listening, I would recommend trying to add a little bit of extra flow, like make this, um, like it looks like we've got some vertebrae here in the middle body. Um, you know, you could probably have like the coccyx or tailbone or something like that going down like the, down the um, stock of the MP5 or something or the, you know, next weapon. Um, instead of it being teeth again, I don't understand why it's teeth at the back and then teeth at the front. Um, and then you've got like, what, are they claws or something there on the bottom part? I don't know. The hand grip, cool. Magazine, cool. Body, decent. Front fore grip, nice. The back stock is pretty much what lets it down in my opinion. Um, yeah, overall, not going to recommend investing in it. Um, actually, uh, the back, yeah, the back does let it down in my opinion, but also the ADS is just like, okay, so you can still have a cool fossil idea, but still try and make it uh, a good skin to actually use as a play skin. Um, and in my opinion, this isn't a good, a great skin to use as a play skin, especially in this screenshot where you're using it in the desert and it also has an iron sight that blends in with the desert um, biome. So not really ideal, uh, it just... You know, you can get uh, better skins to actually play with easier skins. For example, like the Blackout um, MP5 that has the red um, front sight. So it's going to contrast with the background of whatever you're actually ADSing on. Um, not going to recommend investing in it. Moving over to the Frontier Rustic Door. Now, this doesn't actually have a window. It looks like it might, but looking at the next few screenshots, it doesn't. In fact, I actually think it does. Interesting. Okay, so it appears, I could be wrong on this, but uh, check it out in game for yourself, but I'm pretty sure this actually does have a cutout. Um, it definitely must. Yeah, I think it definitely does. Okay, so this is another pay to win skin with a window. Um, I do think that this is probably actually going to become more of a norm than anything. Um, so it's going to actually become quite common for uh, door skins to have like this pay to win window. Um, cut out these days which is a shame because I did I didn't think it was like quite unique but it is also to be expected 
Um, this one is above center store price of even glowing deployables. It is $4.60. It doesn't have a glow. Um, so I do think that last week's or the week before, whenever it was, the Brutalist sheet metal door skin is still better than this one. I'm pretty sure the Brutalist sheet metal door skin had a glow, but not only that, it had a bigger window, whereas this one has a smaller window. Um, but the thing that the Brutalist um, didn't have that the Frontier Rustic door does have is that this Frontier Rustic door is a clearly a wooden um, door skin, but it is actually a sheet metal door. So it is going to distract or um, trick some people, deceive, I suppose you could say. Um, but uh, just for, you know, only like the newer players. So people that are more experienced, you know, you can just shoot it. You can check your combat log. You can hear the noise that it makes. You can hit it with a rock, hear the noise, etc. It's quite easy to tell what a sheet metal door and what a wooden door are. Um, but... The, it, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it is still slightly situationally pay to win. Um, but it, the main point is that it does have the window. And I suppose if you didn't like the Brutalist um, door skin and if you didn't get the free industrial sheet metal door skin that has the other window, um, I'm pretty sure this is now the third sheet metal door skin that actually has a window. I could be wrong. could be maybe the fourth or fifth, but I'm pretty sure it's the third. Um, it is a shame that it's $4.60, but it is to be expected. Face Punch does like to increase the price of pay to win skins, which is actually a good thing in my opinion. Um, but look, $4.60 is not ideal. Check what the Frontier, check what the Brutalist sheet metal door um, is going for on the community market. Um, if that's performing well, keep in mind the um, Brutalist set has got two skins, so it is kind of expected to perform a little bit better. But if that is performing well, then I would say that the Frontier Rustic Door is also going to perform decently, but I would say that the Frontier Rustic Door isn't going to perform as well as the Brutalist Sheet Metal Door. Um, and that is mainly because its window is smaller. Um, and not only that, there's only one window on this Frontier Rustic Door, whereas there was three windows on the Brutalist Door, one being in the top center, um, one being on the code, which actually didn't really matter that much, and one being like on the bottom left or bottom right, one of the two. Um, so... Overall, I do think the Brutalist skin is actually a bit more pay to win than this. I think it's probably going to be a better play skin overall. But the Frontier Rustic Door, either way, is still a pay to win skin. Um, in terms of demand, it really does depend on how it's going to start once it leaves Rust and I'm storing goes to the community market. But another thing to keep in mind is this is the first skin of the Frontier Rustic um, set. Um, and it is pretty likely that this set will probably continue to a garage door or sheet metal double doors or something like that. Um, because it does seem that the new approach for the Rustam store is to continue pre-existing sets. And now, as I just said, this is the start of the set. So another thing to keep in mind is that the first item of every set usually does perform quite well, especially once the next items come out. That is when you're going to have the Frontier Rustic Door um, spike in price on the community market. And that is usually one of the times you'd want to sell it, unless you're expecting more of that set to continue down the line. So... Overall, with the front, uh, the Frontier Rustic Door, I actually do think you can make money off of it on the Rustinum Store. It is four dollars and sixty cents, though, so you could potentially get it for a bit cheaper with a community market buy order. Um, but overall, I actually will recommend investing in the Frontier Rustic Door off of the Rustinum Store. Pay to win skin. Um, it's got the cutout. It looks like it's wood. Uh, it doesn't have a glow, um, but it is one of the only windowed sheet metal door skin so overall decent skin and also quite a nice well-made skin as well moving over to the ink dragon pumpy so we don't really get that many pumpy skins in the game um, my favorite skin for the pumpy would be what is it called the frost fire or something like that or something like that um, it's got the blue front glowing iron sight also a really cool skin um, I actually really like this Ink Dragon Pump Shoddy. I haven't seen any of these skins in game, but this one looks really clean in my opinion. Um, not so keen on the bottom of the body getting scratched a little bit on the corner, but it does add a little bit of extra detail and character, I suppose. Overall, really nice looking skin. I like the engraving of the dragon. Pretty, um, pretty clean looking skin overall. $3.05 isn't actually a bad price for the Pumpy. Um, and the Pumpy is actually quite a good gun in the game, even after it's nerfed with the slugs. Um, but using slug pump is still quite a strong um, weapon of choice. Uh, overall, as a long-term investment, I actually do think you could make money off of the Ink Dragon Pump shotgun. But either way, I'll still recommend trying to get the Ink Dragon Pumpy off of the community market with the buy order. Um, but picking this up as a play skin, I don't think you're going to lose money off of it. I just think um, overall, um, picking up off of the buy order... 
uh, picking that off the community market to buy order will maximize your potential profits for the future um, as a long-term investment, in my opinion. Right, moving over to the modern military LR. I don't know if we've had any modern military um, previous skins, but it does look very familiar. I feel like we've had like modern military clothing and armor, probably, judging by that screenshot. Um, I think this is probably the first uh, weapon skin for the modern military set. And overall, military skins actually usually do perform quite well. We do have a decent... Um, front ADS here. I don't know why the front side is blurred out, but um, you can see that the skin um, it does have a little bit of a nice looking front ADS. Actually really nice looking skin, very clean, uh, very clean military skin. Overall, I do think you can make money off of this modern military LR, but in saying that, I would recommend getting it off of the community market either way, simply because you can't craft LRs. Um, LRs are in a very weird place at the moment where they are a gun that you can't craft. They're like uh, airdrop um, and locked crates only, but uh, for some reason they're still, you know, weaker, but also seem to have like more perceived recoil than the AK. So like why use it over the AK? But in saying that, if you're playing for, you know, just aesthetics, the LR looks sick. Um, $3.05, if the LR ever gets a buff, then I do see... Um, the skin prices for LRs going up. And I also think that uh, in Rust, the military skins and the camo skins are always perform quite well and always do have um, that demand there once it leaves the Rust Atom store. And so overall with the modern military LR, I do think it will have a demand once it leaves the Rust Atom store. Um, but for now, I do think you could get it for cheaper off of the community market with the buy order while it's starting at $3.05. So overall, I will recommend investing in it, but I'd recommend picking the modern military LR up off of the um, community market rather than the Rust Atom store for this week. All right, moving over to the Neon Vibes garage door. I'm pretty sure we have had Neon Vibes skins in the past. Let me quickly, yeah, we know it doesn't look like there's any screenshots of it, um, but I'm pretty sure we have had Neon Vibes stuff in the past. I could be wrong there, but it looks very similar to other skins that I've seen. Of course, this is a garage door with like all of the monuments and um, events happening on it. So we've got, for example, um, Heli Airdrop Dome sats, um, the new trains, the new tunnel train part thing. Um, that's probably what the jump puzzle for water treatment. Um, lighthouse, we've got uh, power plant, submarines, and cargo. So overall, actually a pretty cool looking skin. It's not really my like cup of tea, but I can tell that this would look really good um, as a glowing deployable. But I mean, like we've got so many nice looking glowing deployable garage doors these days. And this is starting at $5.40. Overall, I don't think it's really going to have the demand once it leaves the Rust Atom store and goes to the community market. We have pay to win garage door skins that are like, I mean, we have so many glowing deployable garage door skins that it's not even funny. Um, but then we've also got like the windowed garage door skins these days as well, like the bombshell, um, the brutalist, uh, blah, 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 etc. We've got like the OG, um, uh, what was it called? The mechanic paint shop garage door thing, chop shop garage door, I think it was called chop shop. Um, my point is there's so many good garage door skins that I don't think even this nice looking garage door skin is really going to compete, especially when it's already starting at $5.40. So if it's starting at $5.40 on the Rust right Atom store, that means you're going to have to sell it for quite a lot on the community market in order to make any sort of money. Um, and I do think that there's other skins that you can be making more money off whilst also uh, not risking as much. So for that reason, or for those reasons, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Neon Vibes Garage Door. Um, even picking this up as a play skin off the Rustom Store, I actually do think you'll still lose money. Um, so if you want it as a play skin even, I would recommend getting it off of the community market. I hope I'm not actually debating myself and all of these. I'm pretty sure you definitely can't see through all of this um, this chain fence Judging by uh, this like corrugated iron or whatever that is supposed to be in the background, judging by all that or steel, um, I don't think you can see through it. But if you could, that would be insane. I'm like 99% sure you can't. So not going to recommend investing in the Neon Vibes garage door off the Rust Home store for this week. Right, let's have a look at this cheeky bugger. We've got the Punk Jack large wooden box. I think this is a new set. 
Um, either that or we've had a garage door. I don't exactly remember, but it seems very familiar. Um, let's have a look at the ends. So like the usual play side. Um, I don't think we have a screenshot of it by the looks of it. Yeah, we don't, okay. So, oh, actually, no, here we go. It's, wait, no, that's the top, that's the side. Okay, so, okay. Unfortunately, the skin creator has decided not to put a screenshot of the like main play side, so this side here that my cursor is going over now. But you can see that it does have like one red speaker or light or whatever that's supposed to be, turret or something, I don't know. Um, the Punk Jack large wooden box is a glowing deployable going for $3.95, which is standard store price for glowing deployables. It appears to have a uh, an okay uh, glow, but it doesn't actually look like it's insane. Um, it, it's, uh, it looks a lot better during the day, in my opinion. Um, it looks cool when they're all together like this, but you're never really going to see that unless it's in a compound or something. Um, overall, the top of it does look really nice, but I always think that... It, if this main play side, which is in my opinion the main play side usually, if you're not really seeing much action happening on that, then I mean, I think it's really a missed opportunity. They could have copied and pasted this whole top and put it on the sides, um, like on the on the uh, skinnier side, um, and it would look sick. But for some reason, they, they chose not to do that. I think that um, this Punk Jack large wooden box has missed its opportunity for that. Um, but it does appear that the community does like it. It is sitting at number three on the top sellers. So it's likely that it's going to get oversaturated on the community market. And we already do have a lot of glowing um, wooden box skins. In fact, most of them. Um, uh, but I do think people do like the actual artwork overall for this. And I do actually agree. I think the artwork looks sick. I think the skin credit's done a really good job. Um, I just think it's disappointing that the ending of it, the end of it, um, just has like that one red speaker thing. Um, overall, it's a cool skin, but I don't think it's going to have a crazy amount of demand. Um, and so I'm not going to recommend investing in it overall. I think the Punk Jack uh, is a skin uh, that could continue as a set in the future. So I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. If you are to invest in it, I'd recommend investing in it off of the, rust, uh, off of the community market. Just the $3.85. I honestly think you can get the Punk Jack for a little bit cheaper first um, and then start investing in it. So overall, I actually will recommend investing in it, but only off of the community mark with buy orders because um, I do think you can get it for a little bit cheaper. I do think overall it probably will eventually go up, um, but I don't think it's, it's going to go up by a crazy amount. Excuse me. Um, so overall, um, I'll recommend investing in that off the community market instead of the rest of the store. Alrighty, moving over to the Soul Eater Revolver. Cool name, looks like a cool little picture. Going for $3.05, we've got a eye with some teeth around it on the um, back of the revolver. And so let's have a look at it. It actually does look like, it's a sick looking revolver. Um, tell you what, it would be a little bit cooler if they made the front sight red, um, or just a little bit easier to see. It does look like it is a red, but it looks like it's a, quite a dark, like maroon color. So it does look like it's a bit hard to see. It's actually a sick looking um, Revy skin. And I do think revolvers perform quite well simply because you don't actually get that many revolver skins um, in the Rust Adam store. I don't think we've ever had a free revolver skin from Twitch drops. Um, so overall, the demand for robber skins, revolver skins is a little bit higher um, just in terms of the fact that the quantity is uh, a little bit lower for this weapon. Um, the only problem is like, you know, you can go past revolvers so quickly in Rust. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. $3.05. I'd recommend trying to get the Soul Eater revolver off the community market. But as a long-term investment, I actually do think this will go above $3.05. Um, but I think, yeah, picking up off the community market with a buy order is probably the best bet. Awesome looking Revy skin though. I actually really like it. So I'm probably going to cop that one. Um, all right, moving over to the final skin of the week. We have the Soulless Legion crossbow going for three dollars and five cents it looks like they've done a dodgy job with their cutouts on the back stock like looking at a little spot here and a little spot there um but i could be wrong so this is a continuation now of the solace legion um set now i suppose we just had the bow last week or the week before and now we have the crossy um overall it is actually a sick looking crossbow skin i don't know how the um bow itself performed but 
um, depending on how the bow performed, is what I would recommend with the Solus Legion crossbow. So check that out on the community market. If the Solus Legion bow is performing well, then I think the crossy will perform at a similar um, level. Uh, but you do also have to keep in mind that the bow probably has spiked a little bit yesterday when the skins came out, um, whereas the crossbow won't really do that. Um, so overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Solus Legion crossbow without looking at it on the community market, but I do think it is a cool looking crossy skin. Um, as a long term investment, I think you can make money off of it, um, but picking up off the Russell store for $3.05, I'd recommend getting it off the community market instead with the buy order. I do think you can get it for cheaper. It's actually an awesome looking skin, but um, you can go through crossbows and bow skins quite uh, and bows quite easily in the game. Um, then you get up to your revies and then you or you skip over your rubies and get you to your pumpies um, and then go Python and SAR and SMG. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, not going to recommend investing in it. So interesting store this week, like no, no clothing, few deployables and a lot of weapons. Um, just a reminder that this is what the top sellers is looking like. And that is going to do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And remember, have a skits one.